My name is Anthony Lomero, and in the summer of 2019, I decided to ride my unicycle from Kingsport, Tennessee to Atlanta, Georgia on a 300-mile journey on my way back to college. I did this trip to raise money for an organization called Enhance, which helps resource community leaders in Southern Asia who live in extreme oppression and poverty. This journey was not always easy, and it certainly wasn't always fun, but it was definitely worth it. So here's a glimpse into this little adventure. Yeah, that'll work. Before I could even consider making this trip, I had to make some serious modifications to my unicycle. Obviously, unicycles aren't built for carrying lots of gear, so I had to design and build a custom rack that would carry my things so I could avoid the back-breaking weight of a large backpack. I made this rack using the resources in my university's machine shop and with the help of my grandpa. Building this frame took about a week, and I don't have video of the whole process, but eventually I had something that I could take for a test ride. Before, I had the problem where uh, the water would come off the back of the wheel and it would get soaked, just soak the bottom of my shorts, and this is keeping me really dry, so I'll say overall, success so far. So, this is what it's looking like. We've got handlebars here in the front. A couple of things already that are wrong, I think. These handlebars right here, um, they're close enough so that my knees will scrape up against the side right here. So I think I'm gonna have to raise them up a little higher vertically so far. far. Um, I haven't added the bags or anything. You know, this post is gonna be a lot shorter. Probably cut it off at like right there. But things are looking pretty good so far. After finishing some custom panniers to carry my gear, the unicycle was ready. My family gathered around to send me off from my parents' driveway. Barely one week after I had come up with this idea, I set off on a 10-day journey across two states with very little idea of what I was getting into. All right, the journey has officially begun. I just left the starting point in Kingsport, Tennessee. Ducks for you. Sorry, distracted by some ducks. <laughs> I just left the starting point in Kingsport, Tennessee, and I'm now on a bike path on my way to the first stop for the night, Sir Goinsville. It's about 30 miles, which is tentatively what I'm planning to do every day right now. Um, I will admit, I've already fallen once, but to be fair, it was a gravel road downhill, and my bags were not packed very well, so I stopped and repacked them and. <laughs> Well, hope, hopefully that doesn't become a, uh, a theme. But yeah, got 300 more miles to go to Atlanta, about 30 more to go to Sergoinsville, and this is pretty exciting. I began my ride on a local bike path that wound through the city. It was an easy flat trail along a scenic creek, and it would be some of the nicest riding of the entire trip. The plan was to ride about 30 miles per day for a total of 10 days of riding. However, the longest training ride I'd ever done was only 12 miles, and that wasn't even with a fully loaded unicycle. So it wasn't too long before I encountered my first problem. Okay, so, <clears throat> update. I was just, uh, I got finished with about maybe 15 miles of the ride or something around there. Um, and I was just pulling into this McDonald's right here uh, to fill up on some water. And as I'm pulling in, we've got a big catastrophic failure. Let me see if I can show you guys. And I don't know if you can see that right there, but that is a big old crack right down the pipe. So that's not good news. Oh man, here it is. Let's see. Can I unclip that? Undo this bungee cord here. And that's not supposed to happen. That's, uh, the opposite of what's supposed to happen. Yeah, so, of all the problems I expected to happen on this trip, this was definitely not one of them. I felt lucky that this failure happened only 12 miles from home, rather than several hundred miles into the trip. Because I was still so close, I was able to take the unicycle back to my grandpa's workshop and perform a quick fix that allowed me to get back on the road in just over an hour. So the unicycle's fixed, 
and I'm back out on the road. Basically, we just had to. <laughs> uh, I stopped at the McDonald's, had my uh, parents pick me up, and then I went back home to fix it. And it's fixed now. I'm riding again. Had you been watching and waiting from some place up above, somehow knowing in this place all these people. Here we are, coming into Sir Goinsville city limits. This is where I'm going to be staying tonight. And just look at this view. I'm not sure how well you can see this. Hold on. That's a little better. Look at this place. Here we are. This is my great uncle Donnie's house right up there next to that steeple. That's where I'm staying for the night.